John Tully. F2 to B3. E1 to B2. F2 to B4. F1 to B3. E1 to B1. There! Five moves. The minimum? You've passed the test, Matilda. You can join the section now. That means I'll have to confess. It's such a pity. I'm afraid you won't want me as a secret agent after all. You see, I knew what Percival meant as soon as he showed me the key. This key? 98. 98, yes. That's what I thought it was until I saw it. That way up. 86. Oh. It was the key to locker 86. The sandwiches were in the locker. Hamber returned to his flat. He'd only gone to visit the doctor. In other words, Matilda is innocent. So, what do we do now? I suggest you try your local job center. Job, job center? center? I shall take early retirement. Try not to blame yourselves for letting me down. Section Q. What? What's happened? A flask containing the new explosive DD-2X has been stolen from the Elmsdale Research Laboratory. The DD-2X is kept in flasks like this, you see. There was another one here. So that's the one that was stolen? Yes. I think we might conclude it was that one. Was this from locked when you arrived this morning, Professor Martin? Not? Oh, yes, most yes. certainly. There's no sign of the locks being forced. Ah, ah. How did they get the DD2X into the flask? Well, they pour... They pour it in through the top there. And once the granules are inside the flask, the top is sealed. So how do they get it out again? Well, we undo this cap here and we just pour out as much as we need. Professor Martin? This window is open. Window is open? Yes. I think I'd agree with you there. Was it open when you came in this morning? Oh, now let me see. Um, possibly. So, this is where the thief got in. Got in. Yes, it's a very sound, um, deduction. Ouch! Ouch. Oh. Never mind. Oh. Rosebed's quite soft. How come you keep a dangerous explosive in a plastic container? Ah, well, you see, DD2X becomes unstable in contact with inorganic substances such as metal, glass, ceramics. It's due to what we call the GK molecule, combining with... Professor. Oh, yeah. But it's quite safe in organic substances such as plastic, wood, even cardboard. Yeah, but what happens when it becomes unstable? Well, to put it simply... It explodes. Explodes, yes. I'm glad to see that you're familiar with um, technical terms. <laughs> ah! Now I remember. Remember? The window was closed when I came in this morning. I opened it myself. Door and window both locked. Guards at the gate and on patrol. Who else has keys to this room besides you, Professor? Ah, well, now, let me think. Oh, yes, of course. My assistant, Hammond. Where's he? Well, now that you mention it, I haven't, uh... uh seen him this morning. Well, thank you very much indeed for your help. Good morning. I'm afraid Hammond is not at his home. What's going on? Looks as if the prof's assistant was a more plan about a factor. A more? <laughs> Just as I thought. Rick, look at this. Leave the goods at the Hikers Refuge, Elmsdale Moor, signed F. F. Leave the goods. The explosive. 
at the um, hiker's refuge. Hammond must be crazy to leave this note here for us to find. Yes. The factor doesn't usually employ people as careless as that. I do hope you'll be able to recover the explosive in view of the uh, possible consequences. Don't worry, Professor. I shall deal with this myself. Suppose it becomes unstable. Is there enough to blow up this room? This room? I should say so. Or the Albert Hall. Or the Houses of Parliament. On second thoughts, I think this is a job for you two. Rick, that's it. Didn't take much finding, did it? Stop! Don't touch it! What's the matter? Wires, going through the top. See them? You're right. There's something under the lid. It's a piece of metal. Can't see what's holding it up. An electromagnet. That's what's holding it up. There must be a battery on the other side of that wall. If we break those wires... The metal will fall into the DD2X and... Boom! It's a trap. The factor wants to take us out. Why does he want to... take us out? Because we know too much. Why do we know too much? I don't know what it is. Something we haven't connected with him yet. But he's afraid we will know what it is we know very soon. Rick. I have a feeling we're a lot closer to the factor than we realize. Can you see them? No, uh, they're still in the hut. Taking their time, I must say. Perhaps you should go and, um, uh, help them. You go and, um, uh, help them yourself. It's locked. Someone's just locked it. Open this door. There he goes. Hammond, it must be him. The windows are barred. Why has he locked us in? Rick, I can hear something. Ticking. Ticking? It's coming from outside. There must be a timer out there. When the timer stops... The current cuts out and the metal falls. The GK molecule combines with the... Sam... How do we get out of here? Quick! Don't panic. We've got time. Time? What time? They must have allowed at least half an hour so that Hammond can escape and set up an alibi. So what do we do while we wait? Play patience? No. We take the cap off the bottom of the flask and let the DD2X pour out. Oh, onto the floor? <sighs> Flagstones. Inorganic substance. Boom. We need something to drain it into. Well, there's lots of things in here. Pottery? Oh, that's ceramic. Biscuit tin. Metal. There's nothing plastic or wooden. Or only some sheets of paper. The paper's not strong enough. But he said you could use cardboard. This should be thick enough. Oh, it's no use. The grains will just slide off. Not if we cut it up and make it into a box. Scissors. Scissors. Sticky tape. Sticky tape. Measure. Measure. 18 centimetres by 18. We have to make a box big enough to hold all the grains. Out of that piece of card? What is the biggest box we can make out of that? We'll cut these sheets down to the same size and find out how to make the biggest box, OK? Let's go. and Sam beat the bomb? How can they carve up the card? How big the box? Ferret out the facts before the next exciting extract from Mass Pie.